टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रियल इस्टेट सेक्टर इन इंडिया द रियल इस्टेट सेक्टर इज अ क्रूसियल सेक्टर ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी इट हैज अ ह्यूज मल्टीप्लायर इफेक्ट ऑन द इकोनॉमी दिस इज द बिग ड्राइवर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ एज इट इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट इंप्लॉयमेंट जनरेटिंग सेक्टर आफ्टर एग्रीकल्चर ग्रोइंग एट ए रेट ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट पर एन एम एंड दिस सेक्टर हैज बीन कंट्रीब्यूटिंग अबाउट फाइव टू सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द नेशनल जी डी पी नॉट ओनली डज इट जनरेट ए हाई लेवल ऑफ द डायरेक्ट इंप्लॉयमेंट बट इट एल्सो स्टूमुलेट्स द डिमांड इन अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव टू टू फिफ्टी एनसीएलरी इंडस्ट्रीज सच एज सीमेंट स्टील पेंट ब्रिक्स बिल्डिंग मेटेरियल्स कंज्यूमर ड्यूरेबल्स एंड सो ऑन बट मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट ऑब्स्टेकल टू सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ ऑफ सिटीज इज द टोटल लैक ऑफ रेगुलेशन इन दिस सेक्टर इट इज लेस्ट विद द ब्लैक मनी करप्शन रेड टेपिज्म एंड लैंड माफिया एंड करप्शन It is also recognized that existing laws on land registry, transfer of property, contracts, and related matter are therefore inadequate in this context and are not implemented by different authorities, and they cast no responsibility on the builders, developers for observing certain core norms in the contract with home buyers. In recent years, considerable progress has been made. in setting up empowered regulatory body for the financial sector for investment in corporates companies and mutual funds the real estate regulation and development bill 2013 has been introduced to curb the issue related to real estate it also tries to resolve the problems of unsustainable urban growth real estate sectors it aims to provide a new form of regulatory environment in real estate sector which is faced with black money corruption land mafia and many other problems the core objective of this bill is twofold to ensure sale of immovable properties in an efficient and transparent manner and to protect the interest of the consumers that is the buyers in the real estate sector the provision of the bill is applicable not only it currently the provision of this real estate regulation and development bill 2013 is applicable to residential projects Prior, prior approval before the launch and advertisement this bill contains provisions restricting launch of projects or advertisement unless their approvals are received and all the agents are not expected to facilitate the sale of immovable property which are not registered with the authority and to maintain book of accounts records and documents mandatory deposit of fund this act makes mandatory upon the promoters to deposit 70% or such lesser percent as notified by the government to cover the construction cost of the project fund in a separate bank account to ensure timely completion and prevention of the funds diversion registration of real estate projects and real estate agent The bill also ensures mandatory registration of the real estate project and real estate agents with authority except when the land proposed to be developed is less than 1000 square meter. This provision is likely to provide another level of protection to buyers while also preventing concerns regarding money laundering by non-organized broker community. Disclosing of mandatory information The real estate agents developers are now required to disclose material information such as details of the promoter projects layout plan plan of development works land status carpet area number of apartment block status of estate tree approval and disclosure of pro forma agreement names and address of the real estate agents contractors 
architects and structural engineers on the authority website restriction and taking advance provision and taking more than 10% is advanced from the buyers without a written agreement and also the developer or agents are required to refund the buyer the full amount in case of delay of project. Liability and penalty. The bill prescribed for civil and criminal liability for the contravention of various provisions of the bill such as imprisonment up to three years or penalty up to 10% of the estimated cost of the real estate project for projecting out misleading information in advertisement or prospectus. Real Estate Regulatory Authority The Act also gives power to establish one or more real estate regulatory authority in each state or union territory. One authority for two or more state union territory, the appropriate government can specify the functions, powers, responsibility to exercise oversight of real estate transaction. The Act also appoints adjudicating officer to settle dispute between parties and to impose penalty and interest. Real estate regulatory authority powers and functions. So what are the powers and functions provided for the real estate authority? regulatory authority in this act. The authority will act as a nodal agency to coordinate efforts regarding development of the real estate sector and render necessary advice to the appropriate government to ensure the growth and promotion of a transparent, efficient and competitive real estate sector. The authority shall ensure compliance of the obligations cast upon the promoters and allottees to cause an injury to be made in compliance of its order or direction made in exercise of its power. To host and maintain a website of record of all real estate projects within its jurisdiction is database with all details is provided in the application for registration under the Act. For project for which registration has been granted or cancelled as the case may be. To make recommendation on protection of the interest of the LOT, measures to improve the process and procedures for clearance and sanction of building plans, development projects from the competent authority, construction and maintenance of a structural safe, a structurally safe, environmentally sustainable and low cost building, apartment and properties and any other form of assistance or advocacy to promote competition or efficiency in the real estate sector. Real estate regulatory authorities shall have the power to call for information, conduct investigation and make inquiry in the affairs of the promoter where it considered appropriate. Regulatory authorities shall have the power to ensure direction to the promoters from time to time and extract such information if necessary. Power of regulatory authority consequent upon lapse of or cancellation of registration of the promoter to recommend to the competent authority to have the remaining development work carried out from the proceeds of the enforcement of bank grantee and recover charges incurred on the said development work due to promoter. The regulatory authority shall have powers to regulate its own procedure and shall be guided by principle of natural justice and shall have all the power as are vested in civil court under the Code of Civil Procedures 1908. So there are some penalties under the Act also. Any promoter who fails to register in accordance with the provisions of the Real Estate Regulation and Development Act shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to three years. If any promoter or contravene any other provision of the bill other than the provided ones or the rules or regulations made, shall be liable to a penalty which may exceed to 5% of the estimated cost of the real project. Any promoter who willfully fails to comply with orders of the authority shall be liable to minimum penalty of 1 lakh rupee for 
every day during which such default continues. Any promoter who willfully fails to comply with the order of appellate tribunal shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to one year or with a penalty which may extend to 10% of the estimated cost of real estate project or both. Thank you. Thank you for discussion.